U.S. nat gas futures extended their downward spiral on early Wednesday, marking an eighth consecutive day of losses as the market transitions to the October futures contract. The ongoing sell-off is fueled by a combination of declining weather-driven demand and an increasing inventory surplus, with futures trading well below the nine-day moving average. This sustained bearish momentum has emboldened short sellers, driving prices toward recent lows and raising concerns about further declines. The market's bearish tone is primarily attributed to oversupply issues, worsened by elevated storage levels. The Energy Information Administration reported a larger-than-anticipated storage injection of 35 billion cubic feet for the week ending August 16, exceeding market expectations and intensifying fears of a supply glut. Meanwhile, tomorrow's storage report is anticipated to fall within the 33 to 42 billion cubic feet range, slightly bullish, compared to the five-year average of 43 billion. However, I expect a strong bullish reaction if the actual injection comes in near the lower end at 33 billion, as the current price levels are particularly enticing to bullish traders. Moreover, today's price action suggests that bulls are beginning to enter the market in anticipation of a favorable outcome from tomorrow's EIA storage report, especially considering that the next three reports are also expected to be very bullish. Weather patterns are also playing a crucial role in weakening the market. Although record high temperatures in the upper Midwest are driving robust power sector demand, the timing late August suggests this demand surge will likely be short-lived. As cooler temperatures are expected to arrive, particularly in the northern U.S., overall nat gas demand is projected to drop significantly, further dimming price prospects. Adding to the bearish outlook, high coal stockpiles are indirectly pressuring natural gas prices. Market analysts have noted that long-term take-or-pay contracts for coal plants could lead to uneconomic decisions to burn coal, even with low prevailing dark spreads. This scenario presents a bearish risk to electricity markets, which in turn could further weigh on nat gas prices. While any late summer heatwaves might offer temporary support, a substantial price recovery seems unlikely before the winter heating season. Traders should keep a close eye on upcoming EIA storage reports, weather forecasts, and global demand trends for any indications of a potential market shift. As it stands, the market remains vulnerable to further declines as the underlying bearish factors show little sign of easing. In the near term, the outlook for nat gas remains bearish. However, today's price action suggests that the support level at $1.95 is holding firm, so I anticipate some consolidation within the $1.90 $2 range in the near future. Looking ahead, any catalyst such as an additional production cut could quickly propel prices above the $2.10 mark. Early forecasts for the upcoming winter could then drive prices toward the $2.50 resistance level, potentially followed by a gradual climb toward $3 as the high demand season approaches, mirroring the pattern observed in May. Please like, subscribe, and comment to support the channel. See you in the next one.